I'm joined right now by the CEO of Calamos, John Kadunis. John, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you. Thank and, you. And, and of course, you have to allocate capital. You're running Calamos. It's very successful uh, asset manager. So you're really impacted by this tax reform plan. Your reaction? Well, I think everybody is impacted by the tax reform. So the markets are sitting there watching to see how much of it, when it's going to get implemented. Since the president's been in office, we've seen the markets go up. And now they're catching up with itself. And a lot of people are saying, have they gotten ahead of themselves? Um, as, as the president, he's used to being a CEO, surrounding himself with really good people. And when he says things, they usually get executed right away. Mm. And I think now in D.C., he's realizing that there's a lot of people that have separate agendas, and not everybody's rowing in the same way. So I applaud him for pushing. He's doing what he said he was going to do. Right. And so I think that he will persevere. It may not be as quickly as he had hoped or as we have hoped, but the markets are showing that it's very positive. And I think that's going to be the indication uh, for the rest of the year where a lot of the equity markets are going to go. So what are you hearing from clients at this point? Are they still apt to put new money to work in the market? What would you be doing? I mean, as you're watching the flows, do you see a cautiousness because markets are up still since Election Day? Look, uh, or do people feel there's another leg to this? Well, I think a lot of people say that we're due for a correction, at least in the equity markets. We're always due for a correction, 5 10 percent, and that could be caused by anything. But the reality is we're still, the trend is up. It's going to continue to go up. And if the president gets any of these things, whether it be Obamacare, tax reform, pass, and some of it, I think we're going to have some very healthy uh, up markets. Tell me what you're doing at Calamos. How do you grow at this point? Is it through acquisitions? How do you gather more assets? Well, I think it's both. Uh, when I got there, we had some restructuring to do in terms of our, our corporate restructuring. Uh, we got rid of our debt. We started adding new products and hired new managers to diversify our portfolio. We took the company private, which was a big uh, part of our growth strategy. It's hard to... Why was that so important to you, to, to take it private? It's important when you have a long-term growth strategy. It's hard to run a company when you have to answer to investors on a quarterly basis sure. during earnings calls and everything like that. So when you go private, you can implement a long-term strategy without being as scrutinized as you You know, you it's would. interesting because some people say, look, why would I go public in this environment when the regulatory burdens are such that it's making it that much harder? Do you think the regulatory changes that the president is putting in place, that was really where he had much of his success in terms of these executive orders to roll back regulation. Will that be effective? Will that move the needle on growth in your view? I think it already has. Anticipation and whatever you know has been done already has moved the needle, and it's going to continue to move the needle. So he's taken all the barriers around for the markets to become very healthy. Okay. So uh, you know we're all excited. Our customers are excited. You know they're uh, they're cautiously optimistic because they're watching how much you can get done when you can get it done. So Calamos is a growth shop, obviously. Uh, What's the AUM at this point, assets under match? We're just under $20 billion. $20 billion that you've got to put to work. Are there still opportunities in the growth space? Because a lot of technology names and so-called growth names have run up so much. There's absolutely, uh, there's always opportunities everywhere. And we're looking not just in the United States, but globally. And part of the, uh, part of the prog uh, program that we've had for turning private is we're doing different asset classes, which is private equity, real estate. We're looking at uh, non-performing loans. We're looking at different areas in, in, in the, in the uh, world. We formed a private equity group um, called Exxon, and we're looking at purchasing insurance companies, rolling them up in Europe. Mm. Uh, our first acquisition was AIG Greece, where we partnered with another family, kind of local of the nominees family in Greece, and we're also looking at another bigger acquisition there, um, and also in the UK, in uh, Spain, and other parts I'm of Europe. I'm glad you mentioned Greece, because what's happening in Europe is really market-moving and stunning. I mean, right now, obviously, we've got the French in the middle of their presidential election. That's one issue. Far-right candidate Marine Le Pen calling for uh, the euro currency dead. I mean, basically, she's saying the euro is dead. Do you agree? I mean, can you look at the euro now and say it's been a failure? 
there's always two sides to that story. In mm. some ways, it has been a failure. In some ways, it hasn't. And for who has it been successful? Obviously, certain countries have benefited more from the euro, like Germany, because of its exports. Exactly. Uh, but for other countries, it hasn't done that well. So d does this election change anything or dictate the way you're going to invest in Europe? This particular election yeah. in France, no. No. And I think the market's already priced in. Uh, you know, the winner, and if, it, if it's not, if uh, Le Pen happens to win, I don't think there'll be a major correction there. She's already talking about coming back on her statements about mm -hmm. exiting the euro. So. But you are seeing opportunity in Europe. You think things are valuable there. You think that, that it's cheaper. We feel that some of the countries, like in Greece, have already hit bottom and are on their way up. All right. We will leave it there. John, great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you, Thank Maria. Thank you so much. John Kajun is the CEO at Calamos this morning.